In late 2022, the time would finally come when Lil Jeff, or Bloody Hound Lil Jeff, as his artist name would be, begun his rap career, dropping his first song and music video titled The Bloody Family, together with JB Bin Laden, with the name of the song being an obvious reference to his gang in the streets, The Bloodhounds. In his DJU interview, Jeff would attribute the beginning of his music career to Vert, who had encouraged him to start rapping. This part of the interview coinciding with Jeff's right-hand man Q50 chopping up some prescription quality pain medication with a doctor-like focus and precision, showing that while Jeff would later earn the nickname The Pistol Professor, it was Q50 who was truly the pill professor. The track Bloody Family would be followed about a month later with Jeff's first solo song titled Can't Beat Us. In these songs, a baby-faced Jeff raps with a monotone delivery, lacking the high-pitched Joker-style voice that would later become his trademark. And this version of Jeff almost looks like a different person from the charismatic neck-tattooed demon that he would later appear as in his music videos, walking around his hood like he owned the place. Nevertheless, since the beginning, Jeff was rapping like he was really, truly about that life, ending the song Can't Beat Us with an outro monologue where he repeats twice how he's really not a rapper whilst insinuating that he's actually a killer who just raps because that's what the fans want to see. This was followed in late November with the first collab between Jeff and Vert, a song and music video titled I Love My Draco. And the music video begins with a clip showing a masked up Jeff in traffic, contributing to the image that Jeff and the other young bloodhounds were actively sliding in the streets in between dropping their songs. This would also be the first video where Jeff would begin to showcase the more high-pitched voice that would later become his trademark with him giving a little monologue mid-song dissing his ops, particularly TYMB. Jeff would then begin rapping how his mum prays every day that he makes it back home, but he tells her that he's okay because he's the one doing all the killing, before flipping the script Lil Dirk style as he announces how this is all fake and just a song, the insinuation of course being that this is really not just a song. The music video then ends with a scene of JB, Jeff and Vert calling J Boogie in prison. Free them boys, we them boys, man. Folks on the way. Free J Boogie, man. Free J Boogie to count. Pain. But coming into 2023, Jeff would keep dropping new music with videos like the song N Words B12 on March the 23rd, as well as the song Big Three on April the 3rd, together with Q50 and another Bloodhound rapper, Slimito. In both music videos, Jeff can be seen surrounded by the Bloodhounds, including this time also his cousin Z Money, who is now playing the role of background character whilst giving Jeff all the limelight, as he once again continues to portray his image of a killer, insinuating on N Words B12 how he'll see people that he's killed in hell. Unfortunately, as these music videos dropped, a tragedy had already stricken Jeff and the Bloodhounds that would completely change the alliances in the area and ultimately cause the downfall of Lil Jeff. A few years before in 2020, a bunch of rappers from the 0679 Alliance of Trap City and Drill City, including RB Tasky, Lil Cap, Vert and Mooka would drop a music video for their song titled On Fire. The music video, which was filmed and released by AMF Visuals, who would eventually also become Lil Jeff's manager, is now interestingly unlisted. The music video begins with one of the most random cameos in perhaps all of Drill history, with the camera showing King Von's sister Kayla B and the late Texas rapper Enchanting, who would sadly pass away in 2024, with both of them hanging out in Trap City's hood. The video also shows guys like Vert hanging out in Trap City, like on the corner of 66th Street, aka Marquette Road and Rhodes Avenue, while the rapper Mooka raps a bar about how the alliance between Trap City or Chris World and Drill City would never divide. Indeed, coming into 2023, the alliance between Drill City, Trap City and Chris World, aka 06679, had lasted for over a decade, with these sets seemingly never having any larger qualms during this period. Unfortunately, in 2023, this alliance would finally come crashing down, with one murder shrouded in mystery, changing the relationship between these sets irreversibly. On the 7th of February 2023, JB Bin Laden would tweet a cryptic message, saying how tables turn, bridges burn, but it is what it is. JB's tweet really could have been about just anything, but what would happen only a month later would certainly make this tweet seem ominous in hindsight, as on the 16th of March 2023, at about 2pm, Jeff's cousin Z Money, aka Zaire Nelson, was sitting in his car on the 1300 block of East 79th Street near the intersection of 79th and Kimbark, this location being in the Avalon Park neighbourhood about 0.6 miles east from the main intersection of the Bloodhounds on 79th and Maryland, which is in the Chatham neighbourhood. There, another vehicle would reportedly approach Z Money's car in a parking lot of a dry cleaners. Someone from inside that car began opening fire, hitting Z-Money multiple times. Z-Money would be taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he would unfortunately be pronounced dead. Chi-Town Crime Chasers would later arrive at the scene to film the aftermath of the shooting, showing the police combing through the scene with numerous shell markers left on the ground. In the comments of the video, Q50's mum would react to the footage, clearly personally affected by the death of Z-Money, and the loss of Z-Money would be a huge blow for the bloodhounds, particularly Jeff, as his cousin had likely been like a brother to him in the streets ever since his real brother Boogie had gone to prison. 
To pay tribute to him, both Jeff and Q50 would get Z money tattoos on the top of their eyes, as well as a bunch of Z's tattooed on their index finger, aka their trigger fingers. But as can be imagined, Z money's death was an even greater loss for his family. In December 2023, a non-profit journalism project called The Trace, which investigates gun violence in America, would actually write a story about Z money, aka Zaire, and in the piece, they would interview his mother. In this truly heartbreaking piece of journalism, the mother explains how Z money had been dropped off at the hospital, but according to a doctor, he had been dead on arrival, having been shot over 29 times. The mother would also reveal that Z Money had been waiting for his friend in the parking lot who had gone to drop off some clothes at the dry cleaners to be tailored. And when the shooters appeared, this made Z Money attempt to run away, but ultimately getting caught by the hail of bullets, with it also being explained that his friend had then arrived and returned fire before fleeing the scene. And that friend was later not willing to speak to the police in fear of getting in trouble with them himself for using his gun. Unsurprisingly, Z Money's murder would once again go unsolved by the Chicago Police Department, leaving his mother even more traumatized, with her explaining in the article that she was torn tortured by the idea that she might just be walking the streets amongst her son's killer in the local community. The mother's fear was indeed legitimate, because as the rumor goes now, Z Money was allegedly killed by people who were very close to him, more specifically by his old friends from Trap City, who had allegedly backdoored Z Money. At the time of the shooting, Z Money's death would be posted in Reddit's drill community, Shyracology. But the speculation about the reasons behind his death would only truly begin after Lil Jeff began making noise in the drill scene, with some claiming that the killing was actually all the result of a girl and a stolen gun, while others completely denied that any backdoor situation or setup had even taken place. However, the case would seemingly get some clarity in July 2024, when members of Trap City, including Trap City Rob, Vert's former good friend Tero, who's also a rapper, and OTF Black, who's actually a friend of Lil Durk and a Trap City OG, would give an interview to the Chicago YouTuber X-Man Rico, where they would insinuate that the relationship between Trap City and Drill City had actually gone sour over a stolen chain. Cause the way ready, this is what I want the clip too. They say his dad from down here, Big J or something like that. Everybody Big J. Yeah. Anybody you got. Also, uh, his daddy is from down here. Yeah, fuck, used to hang with them. They know what they did. So oh, okay. They know what they did. So okay, the bloodhounds. Yeah, it was. Y'all was cool. Everybody, yeah, everybody got a. Those my homies. They stole the chain, bro. We tried like took it. He stole my homie chain. Mm, who was that? Saw Jason? No, no, bro. The one of the other guys. This one of the other guys. This other one. Both letting the wedding wedding. J. He cool. Come back. Like he got it to a high speed with twelve. Man, saying he lost it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's how my f they look. I'm close. You know? Yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy? Yeah. You know, Jake Boogie. Like, like, ah, uh, Jake Boogie. Like, under us. That's how shorty. Like, I was in the field in this mm. city. Yeah. Like, this little, this little brother. Like, don't doubt it. I don't know how this gonna play out. They say he ain't mm. playing in the hood still. But he tried city. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where that. Like but said, but we already know Trap City and Drill City with the same yeah. mm. Bucky and Water. Like that's our family. Yeah. So that chain incident really split it up? Yeah. Or was it something else it was before the chain. then? It was a chain, really. It was a chain, man. Was a chain, man. They tried to steal a chain. He ain't take it. No, I ain't trying to limit, limit his image. You know what I'm saying? He did I not just take feel like chain, bro. when it came Stone, to like when you went mm. on some real because you know we 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 don't just move on situations. So we just feel like a lot of felt like it was just some dumb. The chain on my yeah. soul, like a n from my hood being friendly, let them away your chain. Who does that? We may never know exactly what took place, but what does seem clear is that following Z Money's death, the Bloodhounds would cut all ties to their old friends around Trap City and Chris World. And as Jeff would rap in his feature on another Bloodhound rapper, Hotheads, aka Tank Montana's song, Still Walking, released in November 2023, losing his cousin would also make him lose his mind, with Jeff's focus from that point onwards seemingly being one thing and one thing alone, a get back that he would allegedly get during the summer of 2023.